So green flag, GT3s are put away. We've got a bit of launch control here, so good chance to uh, get the rears up. Always gives you a good uh, calibration just how quick these cars are, actually. So green flag lap. Just got to get as much heat in the tyres and the brakes as possible. Um, the tyres have come out in oven, so they're not too bad. We're already at 90 degrees front left, 82. So this green box here is my temperatures and then pressures here. We've just got to try and make sure they're in the window so when I start the race my tyres are better than everyone else's. Pretty nice place to be the McLaren, I have to say. Air conditioning's good so I'm not too hot. Comfortable driving position. Nice good panoramic sunroof. No, just joking, just the windscreen. Yeah, relatively slow so there's not a lot I can learn about the car on this lap of how it's feeling. I've got full fuel but I've got fresh tyres so I know I've got a bit more weight, the car's a bit more lethargic in a way. I can't quite break as late as I would like and the weight then takes a bit longer to stop so I'm conscious of that but then I've got the fresh tyre to compensate some of it so I need to make sure I'm getting the most out of the tyre while I've got the full fuel. That's my chance to get a bit of a gap I feel. I've got good fresh tyres only had to do two laps in quali to get my pole position so they're as fresh as fresh can be um, so if I can get my head down that's my plan I'm going to go for three absolute kamikaze laps at the start just to really try and gap Middleton and uh, Haggerty in the 100 car and then uh, I'm a bit controlled of my own destiny hopefully then if I get into a battle we'll start tripping over each other and it gives the boys behind them chance to get onto their tails and it all just becomes a lot messier. Just a reminder, stop weaving once you get onto the bridge, Joe. I'll call you down on the uh, on the lights, I'm not sure, I'm just to see them clearly, so I'll give you a call. Copy, copy, cheers. Sorry, Simon on the radio. Yeah. This might not be particularly funny, by the way, if anyone's expecting humour, but it's going to be a lot of swearing. So, Grandma, if you're watching, I don't know who told me it, but I'm not proud of it, but... Yeah, what comes out of my mouth surprises me sometimes. So we're meant to be in two by two, but it's pretty marbly on the outside here, so no one wants to go there. Um, I've got to stay three lengths within the Aston. That's the, the rule that I've been given by. The new race director for this weekend, Peter Daly. Pretty impressed with him so far. Um, so down to me. Second gear for the start. Second gear is always the gear it's to red, be in. Red, 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 red. Red, 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 green. So, pretty good start initially. GT3's pan out, Middleton's gone behind. A little bit of carbon, make sure we don't get a puncture. Already in the right gear into Richie, so I don't need a downshift. Looks like Pitar's going for the outside. Managed to hold him off. And make sure we don't concertina up now into the first big stop of the lap. Second gear, roll off the brake. And I'm happy with this, got no one alongside me. Right, we head down now. Let's check out. GT3s are still looking a bit feisty, so I've got to just keep an eye up on them. Don't get caught in someone else's crash. Track limits here at Snetton are complete bull lake as well. Far enough in front of Pitta, I'm not going to bother defending. I don't want to lose any time that I don't need to. In on the brakes, tuck it in and let's go. To be honest, boys, this isn't how starts normally go. This has been dreamland. I would uh, write a fairy tale on this one. Oh, let's hope it keeps going anyway. Shut your face, Jake. Let's go. Can use a lot of the curb here. I'm not proud of it for track limits, but they don't seem to be penalising us, so it's only cheating if you get caught, right? A bit wide there, that's where the fuel's hurting me. It's got a bit of a run on me, but I think I'm going to be alright with a beautiful torque and the uh, power of the McLaren 570S. I have to say guys, best GT4 car I've ever driven, if you're in the market for one. Let's get in contact, under the bridge, smash the curb here, down to second gear. I've got the radar lights flashing, when it goes yellow it means that they're closing. When it's uh, steady like that it means it's constant. I've got a spin, I'll change little John which way you're going to go, I always aim where they were. So, we just mentally bank that, I've got a GT3 car that's going to be coming through. I would imagine he's probably going to maybe take a lap. A little bit longer maybe to get back past, so I've got to keep an eye on GT3 traffic. I have to say, I'm impressed by the pace of pit up. I would have checked out a little bit more. Maybe I got a second, look like you rushed that last corner, got a bad exit. And there's been some contact off circuit, I can't see where. Okay, thank you mate. 
so GT3 is catching now. Got Keeley up first, so good friends with Keeley off track. Third position, Spa 25 yeah, next year. So Give an indicator so he knows which way I'm going, try and help him out. Helps me out as well. Perfectly done, tucks it in so he doesn't push me wide. And he's on his way. So clear for a couple of corners. I think he's good with traffic, decisive. Well, he's, uh, best up there, mate, got that on camera. Two GT3s coming. I guess it's going to get me on the pit straight, which is good for all of us. Lights going, but stupid Johnny Allen won't do me here, so I can carry my normal racing line. Car's getting loose, man. Two minutes to get a left. The middle of the racing line three gives me the racing line. Two right behind you, there's a bit of a gap before the next GT3 car, so currently about four or five seconds behind. Copy, thank you, mate. Alright, kids, signing out. Peace out. Eight hundred.